What up YouTube, this is Nate from BFD Reviews and today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Select The Mighty Thor Disney Store action figure. I got this one over the Christmas season for a pretty good price, it was $26.99 uh, Canadian and it was like buy one get one half price at the Disney Store which is really cool. So here's the front, simple window box display, standard in all the Marvel Select figures. I think this one came out early 2015 and on the back, this picture of his face though I don't think is very appealing to be honest with you you got some really nice comic book art on the side there and at the bottom here overall from a marketing standpoint really nice display now with this type of packaging I don't tend to keep this uh, box as I would like per se a Kotobukiya box so I might not be so gentle in opening it So out of the packaging, you got the Thor figure here. Actually, the so far the head looks a lot better than it did on the box. You got an additional Thor head. I guess that's his, what hand is that? A right hand. You got Mjolnir. And you got spitting Mjolnir. And you got a little stage there in the back. First up, let's look at the accessories. I'm really happy you get a base here. You got the optional head sculpt here. This one looks a little bit more like Triple H in my opinion. It's all about the game, and I am Not bad. Uh, the treatment of the hair kind of looks like spaghetti. I kind of like that they add this green to be honest with you. It gives a nice tone to it. You know, it's not perfectly uh, clean skin. You can tell like, they put a lot of dirt and stuff on his face. Which is not horrible actually. Continuing with the weathered look, you got Mjolnir, and again, they actually made this look pretty good, I think. A little basic, but you see the weathering in there, a little bit of the, the metals popping through the paint. Not bad. It looks like cement, which I think is really cool. Look at that. Really dirty looking. Almost not perfect, which I, I kind of like. I'm digging that a bit. And you got spinning Mjolnir. At first, I thought this looked kind of silly. And you got the Thor figure itself. This one... Looks really cool. You got head articulation there. You got, uh, I think this is called up, out, up, down hinge in the shoulder. Yeah, you got a little bit of bicep swivel. A really stiff hinge in the elbow, but it works. Wrist rotation. Upper body torso there. Same thing on the other side. A little bit of upper thigh hip there. You got thigh swivel. Oh, really thick. You got a double hinge knee, which is really nice. And you got an up down hinger for the foot. Now looking at this overall, you may notice the paint job does look kind of dirty, which I, I'm digging that. I actually really like the fact that it's not super clean. The sculpt work, not bad. The paint job does really bring out the texture, like this looks like leather, that looks like metal. Really nice work there. The cape, pretty good. I like that, I like this cover here that they put on the back of Thor's helmet. I never know what these things are called that hold his cape on or whatever. But the attention to detail is really nice. You got a nice little gold thing there. I like it. Overall, I think it's a really nice figure. See the detail here in his boots? I like what they did with his armor. Something of that is kind of bugging me though. Bare arm on Thor, I'm not used to that. But I mean, that's just a design choice. I, I, I would have preferred to have the full chainmail arm like they have here in the thigh, have that running down the arm. So overall, not a bad little figure. This one retails at $26.99 Canadian, $25 American. However, with the weakening Canadian dollar, I wouldn't be surprised if this went up in Canadian dollars. So maybe you want to buy it now. This has been out for at least a year almost. So go to Amazon.ca or whatever, you can pick it up still. Pretty cheap, about $25. But the posability is really good. This figure does have all the standard Marvel Select articulation points. The spinning hammer thing at first kind of looks silly and cheap, but when you put him in like specific poses and you take pictures with Thor, it actually works. It does give a nice sense of movement, and I, I'm digging that they added it. The base is really basic, but I'm happy that they included it. The alternate head without the helmet 
it's all right. They could have done a little bit of a better job on the hair. So I prefer Thor with the helmet as opposed to no helmet. I don't really have a rating system on BFG reviews, but I'd go seven and a half out of 10. Really good value, very nice artistic piece, good detail work. So here he is compared to my Kotobukiya Thor statue. There you have it. Thank you guys very much for watching me. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have this figure? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. But that's it. This is Nate from BFG Reviews. And as they say on Marvel Explained, Peace. How does he do it? Peace. Peace. I can't say it like him. Later.